The euro and the pound sterling are reaching now record lows against the US dollar amid differences in central banks' rhetoric. Unlike the US Fed, the Bank of England and the European Central Bank are not sure that their economies are ready for higher interest rates and stimulus programs end. Meanwhile, some countries are publishing important macroeconomic reports today. The final data on the UK GDP for the second quarter exceeded even the most positive predictions. Firstly, data for the first quarter was upwardly revised. Thus, in the first quarter, GDP dropped by 5.8%, whereas the initial report disclosed a 6.1% decline. Secondly, preliminary estimates for the second quarter unveiled a rise of 22.2%. In fact, GDP grew by 23.6%. Nevertheless, market participants ignored the data and the pound sterling remained stagnant. In fact, there is no wonder as yesterday the House passed a bill that would suspend the debt selling in order to avoid the default and disruptions in all state agencies. Now the government has time to develop a new budget plan and decide on the debt selling until December 3. At the moment, market participants are waiting for the vote as now. It's just an agreement without an official solution. The House will vote on a debt selling today, although it's extremely positive news. The US dollar will hardly go on rising. What's more, traders priced in the information yesterday. Against this background, any macroeconomic report seems insignificant. The US final GDP figures for the second quarter are likely to meet preliminary estimates. Thus, the indicator is expected to advance by 12.2% after an increase of 0.5% recorded in the previous period. The market also priced in this data. Meanwhile, the number of first-time claims may decline by 16,000, whereas the number of continuing claims may rise by 2,000. The changes are really small and the figures are likely to neutralize each other. Let us take a look at the trading charts. The euro-dollar pair showed a significant decline, losing more than 80 pips. As a result, the price broke the local law of 1.1664, recorded on August 20, and then approached the law of 1.1600, locked in November of 2020. On the daily chart, we can see that the pair is still falling and bears are controlling the market. The oversold conditions and the support level of 1.16 may lead to a drop in the volume of short positions. As a result, the euro dollar pair may rebound. At the same time, high speculative activity may push the pair lower. If the price fixes below 1.1590, the volume of short positions is likely to increase. And during the last two days, the pound sterling has depreciated by more than 2%. It's a significant change in such a short period of time. As a result, the midterm trend has also changed. The pound dollar pair is showing almost the same dynamic as the euro dollar pair. Technical correction is highly possible due to oversold conditions. If the predictions come true, the pair may rebound from the support level of 1.3400 towards 1.35 and 1.3520. However, the pound dollar pair may fix below 1.34 and made a jump in speculative activity. In this case, the price will slide even deeper. And that's all for now. We keep monitoring the financial market situation. Subscribe to our channel and see you in several hours. We will take a close look at the US trading station.